it's foundation time you want a bargain and i'm here for you let me know in the comments below if you get that upper lip sweat Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's me, Anushka, again, and I'm gonna finish off this seven day review series with my top six, I couldn't round it up, my top six drugstore foundations. Yeah, it was really hard to like bring it to five, but you know what, I've got six really good ones that I trust and would wear out and you know, I love. I also feel like I've been asked this so many times. I think I've done one before. It'd be interesting to look back at that one actually and see if it's changed but you know everyone wants a bargain no not everyone wants to spend 30 pounds on a foundation and to be honest i feel like the drugstore foundation game is way 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 better than like i would say five years ago and i would say social media has played a big part in that because we see all these influencers speaking up on the importance of having a wider shave range that a shave range that caters to everyone and I think that's just made a massive impact. And you know, when Fenty started releasing all the shades and I just really feel like that, that was a moment. And I think that's when brands started stepping up. Do you know what? I really like these foundations. One's actually very recent. Yeah, I love these. I love these, they're good. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Aramajit Pocahontas. So thank you so much for all the love. I really, really appreciate it. It really doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you so much. And if you guys wanna get a shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. The first one I'm gonna start with is actually one of my all time favorites over the past year, I would say, especially when I was going into the office. And that's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. They have a beautiful shade range. This is affordable. It's definitely more on the matte side and it gives medium to full coverage you can really control like the coverage that you want and it sits beautifully on the skin I mean there's not much I can say about it but I've, I've done so many uh, tutorials with this the shade I wear is golden my winter shade could be beige but golden is like my perfect perfect shade so um, yeah love that one I think that's one of my number one foundations to be honest i've tried so many foundations guys but i really when i do these types of videos i really think about what do i reach out for the most recently and also what's in my like i have this like standard makeup bag it's literally overflowing but it's filled with the stuff that i would wear if i'm going out or like if i'm filming like a tiktok or you know something that i want to i can trust if it's in there then that means you know it's it's good ignore my nails you're gonna i need to do them i've been so busy i haven't even done them so it's okay do you know what another one that's really up there and it's actually a recent discovery but this is this stuff is so nice this makes me look like a baby doll and this is the makeup revolution face and body foundation i love this stuff it's so good everyone keeps asking me how it compares to the mac one to be honest this has more coverage than mac one and it's um, not as glowy. It's more long wearing actually. Yeah, I just think it's bomb. They don't have that many shades, but I just feel like you can really, because of the, 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 the consistency and the formula, you can really just match it to your skin tone. I really do hope they bring out more shades in this because this formula is so, so, so nice. And I love that it's, you can still see skin, but it still looks flawless and you can control how much coverage you want. It's affordable and you get a lot of product in here. There's 120 mil in here and you can use it on your body. They do have a specific spray if you're gonna use it on your body, like if you wanna even out your skin. I would trust this on my body more than the MAC one, to be honest, because this doesn't transfer as much as the MAC one. The MAC one is very shiny on me and I definitely have to powder it. Um, but yeah, if you had me choose between the two, like I would go for this one, it's like, amazing and the shade is like so good for me i use 11.2 i do have a dedicated review for all of these so i'll link them in the info box so the next foundation that i really do like is the elf camo cc cream color correcting full coverage foundation they have such long names this has spf 30 although to be honest i'm not a big fan of spf in foundations i just feel like there's no point of it because i end up putting spf before any makeup and you do need at least a tablespoon worth of SPF on your face. And you should be ideally touching up throughout the day. So I'm gonna try and get that La Roche-Posay face mist. So imagine putting a tablespoon of foundation. I just feel like it's it's just not worth it to me when I see SPF foundation. It's not like a selling point to me. But this has niacinamide in it actually, which is good to like prevent blemishes and stuff. I wear the shade medium 355. It's more my summer shade, but this is definitely full coverage. It makes your skin look bomb. And yeah, it's really, really good. I definitely recommend it. 
and they have a good shade range too. The next one is another NYX foundation and this is the new Total Control Pro Drops. I used to love the just the normal drop foundation that they have. To be honest, I don't really see a difference between the two. They're very similar to me, but I love either of them. But the, the new formula I think is more like, it gives a more matte finish, but not too much. Uh, but that's the only difference. I, I think I said in my review, like I didn't really notice a massive difference on it. I use the shade Golden. I think I'm golden in all the NYX foundations. It's on point. It blends beautifully. My sister wears this and it's just flawless. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. And to be honest, you, you can really control the coverage with this. It says one drop is like light, two drops is medium and three drops you can get full and you, if you put more you can get like flawless skin so you really don't need much of this stuff like a tiny bit goes a long way and it blends so nicely it's li literally so satisfying so yeah this is definitely a foundation I trust I know that it's going to wear nicely throughout the day and it matches beautifully there's a, a massive shade range and I just love NYX I love the NYX family okay so the next one is another revolution I feel like when it comes to foundation NYX revolution are just like my go-to to be honest on, on the high end side my two go-to are Fenty and Huda Beauty. So like those are my two high end and Revolution and NYX are my two drugstores. If you're like wondering, those are like my go-to foundation brands. But this is the Conceal and Hydrate foundation. This has hyaluronic acid in there. This one comes with a pump, which I like. I'm not a fan of the big doe foot applicator in the other foundations, but I love that this one's the hydrate version. I have really, really dry skin. And as a shade reference, I'm kind of like a MAC NC, between an NC43 and an NC44. I have worn NC44 before but it's very warm and I could get away with NC42 but it's more on a paler side and goes ashy around my mouth and it really depends what foundation I'm using from them. So I don't even like to use MAC as a shade reference anymore, I just feel like because it's easily accessible to a lot of people like in different parts of the world, it's often used as a shade reference but to be honest I don't have an exact shade with them so that's why I don't really like using them as a shade reference. It matches me perfectly and it's dewy, it's full coverage, uh, blends beautifully, it wears beautifully, no smile lines. I can, like I said, I trust these so I don't have much to say but it's bomb. If you haven't, if you're looking for a nice hydrating foundation, and then finally, this is another discovery. This one's more on a matte side, which is unusual for me because I've really dry skin and I tend to go more for the dewy finishes. But this one, the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I use the shade Filter Tan 19. Um, this is definitely more on the matte side as you guys saw in my recent video, but you guys saw how beautiful that sits on my skin and it makes my skin look dull light. There was no smile lines, no dryness. It's really good and I don't mind a matte foundation, especially during summer where I get really sweaty, especially on the upper lip, you know, the upper lip problems. Let me know in the comments below if you get that upper lip sweat during summer and you're just always like this all the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's good. I'll link the review down below but it's good guys this is good and makeup Shayla was the kind of like the face for the campaign and like I love her makeup and her makeup looks flawless all the time so you just know it's going to be bomb and it was anyways that's the end of this video it's probably really quick but I hope you found it um useful and I also do really recommend foundation.com because you can type in like a shade that you are in a specific foundation and it will tell you what your match would be in another foundation so it's a really good website Definitely recommend if you can't go in store and try the actual foundation on. I hope you enjoyed this little series. I actually got some more products to review, but that'll be up later on this week. I've got a clothing haul, like Quickie Girl got, I got a new body. So I'm gonna have that up soon, which I haven't done in so long. So definitely subscribe so you can stay tuned for that. Give this video a like. If you found it helpful, share it with your friends and family. If they need some help, you know, if they wanna discover some good, good drugstore foundations. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.